Welcome to my Game Maker build. In the next series of videos, we are going to be creating an old school UFO asteroid style video game using Game Maker Lite. Uh, it's a free download from the Yo-Yo Games website, so feel free to go and grab that. You will need a few files, and we're going to go over those right now. These files you will be able to find on the internet under royalty free. Images you'll be able to find through Google search images, and let's go ahead and get started. First, under sounds, I do have some alien sounding music. And this is going to be for my main title music. I also have a laser shot. And I have an explosion. Besides those, we're also going to need a few sprites. Actually, what I did is I created one asteroid and then adjusted the size of that asteroid. Basically, we need a large asteroid, which is going to be about 80 by 80 pixels. We need a medium asteroid that's 60 by 60 and a small asteroid that is 40 by 40. I also have a black hole PNG that is 100 by 100. We have a UFO is 80 wide by 50 tall. And last but not least, an explosion sprite sheet. So that would be an explosion PNG. Found this on the internet. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. We will go ahead and launch Game Maker Lite. And the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do with the build is we want to go ahead and create a room. Click on the icon for creating a room. We want our snap to be set at 80 by 80. We also are going to put our settings. I want a nice big screen, so we're going to go 1200 by 880. Speed is going to be 30. The name of the room will make this room one, and we'll also use that for the caption. We're going to go ahead and go over to backgrounds, and we want to choose a background color of black. OK, and that should just about do it. So I'll go ahead and close the form and save the changes by clicking the little check mark. And now we're good to move on. We want to create a few sprites first, so let's click on the sprite. First one is going to be SPR UFO, and we're going to go ahead and load our UFO PNG for that, and click OK. We're then going to create another sprite, which will be SPR Meteor Large, and we will go ahead and load that sprite as well. That will be the asteroid, that is the large asteroid actually, and we'll click OK to that. And right now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and save this just to make sure that we get a save started because we will want to save this often. So I'm going to click Save As. I will be creating a new folder on the desktop. Call it UFO Game. In that, we're going to go ahead and save this. I'll call that UFO Game as well. We now want to go ahead and animate the meteor. We don't just want meteors out there. We want them to spin. So I'm going to go ahead and open up SPR Meteor Large. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Edit Sprite. And that actually opens up our Sprite Editor. I then want to go up to Select Animation, up here at the very top, to rotate the sequence clockwise. And I want to choose how many frames that I want to rotate it. I want smooth animation. So I'm going to rotate this 60 frames, 360 degrees, and click OK. If I show the preview, so there's 30. That's what it should look like. And let's go ahead and save the changes. And now we want to go ahead and create our medium and small meteors as well. So let's go ahead and create a medium meteor. So that'll be SPR meteor medium. And we'll load the sprite, and it'll be the medium asteroid. And we're going to edit this one as well. This one we're going to have go counterclockwise. And the medium sprite will be 30 frames, 360. Let's click OK for that one. And OK again, and we'll create one more sprite, which will be SPR Meteor Small. We'll have the small asteroid. Edit Sprite. Animation. Rotate. We'll go this clockwise again. And this one we want spinning faster, so it'll be 20 frames. Click OK. And accept that one. OK, and now we have our three meter sprites and our UFO. Let's go ahead and do a Command S to save our work. And now we're going to build a custom sprite. You can actually create sprites in Game Maker, and we're going to go ahead and create a photon that's going to come out of our spaceship. So this one we're going to go ahead and call SPR Photon. We're not going to load a sprite. We're going to edit a sprite. And what we're going to actually do is create a new sprite because we want to make sure we have our width and height correct. 
32 by 32 is good. But now we created an extra one, so we're going to go ahead and delete one of those. So that's our actual sprite. If I double click where it said image zero, it gives me my image editor. This little square is actually my 32 by 32 pixel canvas. If I click on the zoom in button and get that a little bit bigger, click a few more times, there we go. This is our actual canvas we're going to work with. I also want to click on the grid lines so I can see a little bit better the direction I'm going in. I have a number of drawing tools out here. I'm going to start by clicking on the draw an ellipse and I'm first going to draw a stroke. So if I highlight this top one, that's the actual stroke. I'm going to select yellow as my color. If I click in the second column, second row, right up here in the top left and click and drag down, I'll hold my shift key down to constrain it and I'll bring that down to the exact same spot here and let go. It gives me a circle that is yellow. I'm gonna click now on a fill color, which is the bottom box, because it looks like it's filled in. Click red. This time I'm gonna go column three and row three. Click and drag and bring that down to that same square on the other side. So now I have this red fill inside of the yellow stroke. Click the check mark to save it. And now I wanna animate it. If I click up on animation, I'm gonna have this shrink to the center. We're going to select 20 frames for the shrink, hit OK. And now as you see, it's kind of pulsating. It's only going to really do that animation once. That looks, looks that actually looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and save that. Click OK. And now we have our photon sprite. Let's go ahead and save our work again, Command S. We're going to begin part two by creating game objects. Thanks for watching.